What's up my fellow nerds, welcome to the Avenge Nerd. If you liked my last video where I went over the Scar and the Galil, both chambered in 308, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for this. So yesterday was a bit of an exciting day for me for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because my wife and I decided to add a new member to our family. This is Legion. She's the newest member of our family and she's a little Alaskan Klikai. And based on the title, you've probably already guessed my second reason. I bought a new scar. Not just any scar, a scar 20. But this isn't the typical FDE or black scar that you're familiar with. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a Western Viper camo. Am I the first one on YouTube to showcase one of these? I think I am. Look it up. Date it, bitch. Well, if I am, you saw it here first on The Avenger. Now, typically I prefer black on all my firearms, and FDE is cool, but to be honest, FDE to me is a little bit played out. And I'm also not military, so I don't expect to be fighting in the deserts of Afghanistan anytime soon. But for those that do, thank you for your service, and thank you for fighting for my right to be a gun-toting American. And I know some of you have seen photos in online listings and firearm forums, which if you've been on those, it seems like people are fairly split on whether they like this rifle or not. And believe me, I was right there with you. When my dealer posted this on their Facebook page, I was like, nah, I don't know about that. But after I saw it in person, it definitely changed my mind. It just looks badass. It's probably one of those cases where pictures don't do it justice, like your girlfriend which to me is similar to the Black Tiger Stripe Desert Eagle. When I sought out to buy a Desert Eagle, I was dead set on Gold Tiger Stripe till I saw this one in person and man, it is sexy. And that's how I feel about the SCAR 20. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna go over the specs so you can get a quick look at it. And feel free to tell me what you think in the comments below. Here it is, the Western Viper Camo. If you're familiar with the SCAR platform, you probably already know there's not a whole lot in the package. You have the rifle, and in this particular model, you have a 10 round magazine, your basic manual and warranty, and a basic cable lock. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the box and we can get a better look at it. As I mentioned earlier, when I first saw this rifle, I was a little skeptical on the color scheme, but after I got a good look at it, it really grew on me. Let's get some of the obvious out of the way. Being that this is a SCAR platform, there are a lot of similarities to SCARs chambered in other calibers. Starting with the adjustable gas block. As you can see, the handguard extends further out past the gas block unlike a standard SCAR-17. You'll also find that all the operating controls such as the safety, bolt release, and mag release are typical of any SCAR. The good thing is that if you already have a SCAR-17, you can utilize the magazines with this rifle as well. Now there are some things that don't come standard with other SCARs, such as this rubber hogue grip, which feels very comfortable. And of course we have the two-stage Geisley trigger, very short take up, and I would be surprised if the brake was more than 3 pounds. After the break, you also have a short reset. The stock is easily adjustable in length with the push of a round button and locks in place with teeth that are milled into the steel. The cheek riser also adjusts in a similar way and can pretty much be set to your comfort. You'll notice that the muzzle device is also different, this one being a Surefire Pro Comp. The barrel itself is hammer forged and chrome lined so it will increase the life of the barrel. As you can see from the magwell, you'll notice that the color scheme to this rifle is applied through hydro dipping. So I'm not sure how that will hold up, but only time will tell. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from a couple different angles. So what do you think? Do you like the Western Viper camo? So let's talk about the obvious, the price point. The MSRP on one of these is about $4,500 depending on who your dealer is. And my dealer is awesome, so I got it at a significantly lower price. Plus, I also traded two rifles that covered just a little over half the price. If you've seen my video on the Savage 110 Elite Precision chambered in 338 Lapua, unfortunately, that firearm is no longer with me. I also traded my Diamondback AR-10 chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. To be honest, I don't regret that decision because the 338 Lapua, for example, while it's a cool rifle, it's expensive to shoot, and at the moment, due to obvious reasons with the pandemic and the shortage of ammo, reloading is not an option. You really can't find primers at the moment. And another reason why I was okay getting rid of it is because at the moment I do not have the proper range to be able to push the 338 to its potential. So becoming more adept in LPS shooting is on hold at the moment. So essentially the Lapua was a safe queen. As for the Diamondback, it's not really a hard rifle to find. I can always buy it again. But it was also chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor and I thought why not change it out for a better one. And as for precision shooting, I know the SCAR-20 is considered a DMR, but if you had to, it could still double as a battle rifle. 
And once I figure out what kind of optic and furniture I want to put on this rifle, I will be doing a video update on the SCAR 20. But for now, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take it easy, nerds. I'll see you next time we assemble. Peace.